Hello and welcome. I'm with her for the show, my boom and boo. Yeah, let's be the milk row. I have no remember Uncle Charles there. <laughs> I'm like hybridizing the Uncle Charles pop plate up in Boom Wing Food together. That's what happened there. Um, do we want six people or do we want. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, cat. Look at that. Bird is disappearing out of the blue. Oh, now we got coffee. We got the bread cat. And coffee's returned. Let's see. Oh, I got a bread cat. <clears throat> Soon as he returned, I guess we can go with the black cat. Look at that. Jumping in now. Who wants to be here? The cat's like, I, the black cat's like, I want to be here, you know? So you can't stop me. Hmm. You know, I feel like we haven't done the golden boy for a long time. Time to be, time to, um... Trying to be a meme, I guess, <laughs> with the golden boy. Oh yeah, I don't even know. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you just have a need to murder, and that's right now, for no reason at all. I mean, need to do things. Oh, you're kidding me. Mine! <laughs> I guess that's what every excuse of a murder is for playing. <laughs> I guess I can't. Oh god, um, how has I survived this long? I don't know. See, I have skills that you don't see coming. I don't see them coming either until I do that. Ooh, look at this. No! Ah, so close to it so far. I stared at the ponder. My eyes are singing like this. Um, sorry. Just cleaning them. Ugh. It looks like they're getting some sunscreen mud. That's not. Oh. Well, um. Fred had a worse death than I did. Aww. I lost my golden boy. I mean, blue boy, you are white too. But, uh, you know. Whoop. Nope. God damn it. Oh. Yeah, I've seen that one coming from my way for doing my Getaway! What happened there? I guess today it's a bit like me on my bike. For some reason my bike just was so hard to like steer today and I'm like, what? Like it must have been off balance of everything because I went off to the library and, and finally like scanned those pins very well. Like it did better than my um, skin at home, which is pretty good. Now my next question is, I wonder if I can go and get my own paper at the place. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> Don't know how I managed to get it, but hey, we do not complain. Boom. Yeah. Oh, I got double boom wings. I like my eyes working on this one. So I'll start that in like the next Tuesday video. Yeah, like next development video, game development. Well, maybe soon, I don't know. Maybe I'll make its own thing. Like, right now, I'm at full recording speed. <laughs> How did I not get murdered by that? Like, oh my god. <laughs> Most of that probably comes down to luck and skill. That's where all my luck goes. Oh, book! <clears throat> ah. <gasps> yeah! Look at my bad boy! Damn it. I've got a golden boomerang! No! When aliens use something as much as steel, then they'd be like, what the hell you on? Oh! <laughs> My boomerang wants my boomerang's on a um B of some kind. <laughs> Just like wanted to go off feeling it, so I've taught him well. Oh god, I'm in fire. 
And not the kind that I'm waiting to do anything. Or doing a good job, I don't know. <clears throat> no, I touched that bad boy. I get it sweat, but shouldn't draw my attention. Alright! Done it. No. Ah, God. I just got nailed in the guts, man. Ah! Yeah, I didn't eat that one very well, so did I? Hey, come! And one of them is a god named Pain in my ass. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> my boomerang is being good boy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's the first time I ever been to it. I'm usually the one on the other end of that. <laughs> Let's be honest here. <laughs> well, he just had to kick me in the guts there and just tell me in half. Okay, I get it, don't know. Go. Apparently, I'm somebody's out to me today. What? Good boomerang! Oh my god, you're my best boy! You know, I'm alright. I don't need this golden one, although I did pick it up, didn't I? I'm just gonna say it now. Corner life, man. Corner life. He's a good little boomerang, my blue boy is. He literally managed to knock out everybody. I've taught him well. I've taught him to do many things. And there was one skill that I really taught him how to do. Ah! Oh, thank you. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. There's nothing much I can do. Ah! I'm one up here. I'm on fire once again. Well, I'm burning over here in the corner. Yeah, bye. No! Ah, damn. Don't know. Oh, Wallerman has died for their own consequences. No! Bad Wallerman. I don't like you, Wallerman. We can start that phase once again. Ah! Wallerman, what are you doing to me? This one's kind of annoying. Oh, yep. <laughs> Excuse me? No, oh, at least you ended yourself. If I. <laughs> ah. I protected the golden boy. I protect the golden boy from the evil woolen mill and the top hat. God. Totally. Feels like it's a, um what you say, a metaphor for something that's very real, very real at the time period that we're doing this in, isn't it? Ah! I blew myself up, well that makes a lot of sense. That's what they want you to do. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, partly. <laughs> ah! I blew myself up. What the hell? How am I managed to get on island? This is the question I all have asked. Oh my god! Yay! Uh, okay. Short-lived victories, I guess. Sometimes short-lived victories are alright, you know? At Just like with the inventory system, you gotta take what you can. Oh, that's coming along pretty well, if you wouldn't know. Like, that's probably the next, like, game tutorial video I'm gonna do at the moment I can think of. Ah. Oh. Okay, I just did that for the fun of it, mate. <laughs> oh, I see you're trying to eye me off. What a melon? Ah. Oh. Just because I don't fit a perfect mold for your needs and your system. Oh. Sometimes things like this happen, and I give them fire. <laughs> this is me and you now, boom way. Me and you. Uh, excuse me, you bugger. Where am I? Where do I live? Up here. Oh, look at this. God damn it. I was meant to be more of a diagonal angle, but that didn't work out, did it? Oh, 
kill you, little bugger. I'll get you, Randy Wicey Pole. Oh, he's from the Cold Lands. Actually, what were they called up in the Cold Lands? I don't know. Send them off! Get him, big boy! Okay, we had to be like this. No! Nope. Oh. Get him. Bro boy! You better be my blood hound. Oh, um good blue boy. Oh. Okay, so I just got like a, a notice on a head or something. Like, what? That's a scam, I think. Wrong, wrong number. My hair was cut not that long ago. You know, my goal now these days with my hair is to like, you know, cut it short, get that bold cut on it, and or where, is that what it's called? Yeah, that kind of cut, like fully shaved, and then just let let it grow out into like the point where it starts curling on me. Ooh, look at it! You know, starts um having starts curling again. So they say to be getting like haircuts multiple times. And then I get to go for multiple phases with my hair, you know. Sometimes you just wanna have them shot and sometimes you just want some curls, you know. <laughs> Mine aren't really coarse like that. Mine's still like the really proper non coarse ones. But it's still like pretty. Ah, uh, what is it? Still pretty. It's still like not very common. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I find that the best treatment for it as well. Like this is a problem. If you don't have dead straight hair, they don't tell you actually how to treat dead straight hair on non-dead straight hair as well. So, yeah, if you do curly it, don't worry about that. No, and you're never going to figure it. Truly, I look after it. For most, like, most of the time. I guess, yeah, you can figure out when you're looking around. But it's like, um, second day, one of my... Yeah, I got a little look into that. Like, it's mainly what I've been trying to do is... I'm still picking the student in the face. <laughs> um, use, like, conditioner, and then whenever I blush it, I mainly use my hand to be as blush because, well, I don't even blush my hair. Like, it doesn't, it's never needed to be blushed. Like, the form it takes, it's good enough. Ha! 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 Yeah. At least I like the watermelon. <clears throat> Which is always being high nice. I don't know, I'm never really like my hair when it gets too long. But no way, I still really like the curls. So it gets, gets very conflicting when you want, <laughs> want the curls, but then at the same time, I don't want my hair to get too long to really like fully develop the curls. I don't know. 
No! Ah! Woolman, you just like eyed me off. I know the truth, mate. <laughs> Fine curls are um, more um, African descendant, descendant type of thing, or is it more, you know, more diverse? Than it is from more cultures than just anyone who is of that descendant. Because when it gets real fine, it usually is. And something you should be proud of if you get, if your hair is cool, man. Even if it's not, even if it's just straight, you should always be cool. Proud of your hair. Ah. I thought it would go boom. Ah! It said he tore me in two. <clears throat> oh god, no. I just like mine doing the darn thing because it, I don't know. That's me a bit of work. <laughs> like, I think there's people who will like, spend a lot of time on this mad, but I guess if you really like it like that, and that's up to your opinion, then yeah, that's up to your opinion to spend that time on it, because it is an art form. And if that's your art form, then that's a your art form. But you should make sure your sacred care over here. Bye, watermelon. And Wayne, dear. That's my first opinion. Take good care, man. You can take good care of yourself and mental health. That's a that's a very important thing. Ah! I'm about to get squished. I didn't end up on hold somehow this time. Oh well, god. Ah! Okay, we died together! <laughs> ah, there's a wall right here. It's my art term and leave the wall. Oh! <laughs> and I just somehow stopped this one. I swear this one gets a bit more hectic. I mean, I can't go for walls, sadly. Ah! I said I get caught in the two. Ah, god, how am I meant to get into here? Nope, um. Gumball is not down here. At least they don't banana. It gets very confusing when you have like banana in here. It's about my only kill beat. About the only thing I don't like about this game mode. But that's because I'm half blind issues. And I'm on fire. Well, hmm. I wish I really am on fire, you know. Not actually on fire, but on fire in the way of work. <laughs> like, I can F you. Ugh. This <laughs> how that sounds. Whoops. Uh, Misplacement of words, alright. Yeah, I don't want to be on fire. Legitly, that, that's not pleasant. I haven't, like, recently bit my sister. She's an asshole. I got, like, pretty burnt on my left hand at one point when I was took away the oven dish. Like, oh my god. And it was like at school, so like when I was in high school, and they didn't really give a shit at all. Like I probably would not be in that position because somebody wanted me to do something with them. They didn't even show up, so it was kind of their their asshole. <laughs> and I thought, why not? Because I was bored out of my mind. <laughs> and then I ended up making the stuff, which was pretty cool. I like what I made, no one else did, sadly. I actually really did like what I made, and I actually want to remake it. Because <clears throat> what I did was use the combo like, from apple, apple, crumb, apple pie on top of, like, muffins to do something fancy and cool, you know? Sadly, I don't think anyone really liked, had the faving likings. The judges didn't really like what I have, so they like somebody who does like stereotype. Like, come on, 
At least I why can't you give me war uh, points for being creative and doing it by myself? Like, oh my god. And then they were complaining about being slow. And, uh, and I was like, I'm really working by myself. And then you even knew the asshole that it wouldn't show up. <laughs> You know, so it, it was kind of even more annoying as well. And then I, I have this thing where I said if we're gonna do it, I'm gonna end up doing it. Which has ended up putting me in holes. But I guess sometimes it's not that bad, you know. I think one person... <clears throat> I think at one point that attitude really probably saved one person, like... The torture of you know just dealing with no volunteers for what the thing they wanted to do because I thought I uh, uh, during school hours but no I wasn't during school hours but hey I always said I was gonna do it and it's a bit too late to say you know I'm not gonna do it anymore so I'm like okay I'll just do it you know actually don't forget doing that that was pretty nice that was something to do with Japanese as well for that there would be a thing <laughs> Yeah, and then um, the last part, which is even more annoying, was when I got the tray out to do that apple crumble after I did it. Like, oh god, those muffins were great, man. They were actually pretty nice the way I did them. Because it was dark chocolate and that crumble, which I don't think anyone had those taste buds for all that type of stuff. And then I burnt my left hand when I was taking it after I took it right out of the oven. So that was the most annoying thing I've done. <laughs> The worst burn I've still got to this day. My whole hand was burnt and then I got like blisters all over it. Cause I touched it pretty well. It was so annoying. And then I had to go like do woodwork later on with the burnt hand and it was awful. And they really did nothing for my hand either, like, oh my god. Like, they were pretty assholely. They should have, like, you know, made sure that I was all white because there was, I don't know if they've ever been <laughs> in that bad, but that was pretty um, scary, especially as a kid, man. And they did actually just gave me a pot of water, which is nothing which is not how you should look after birds. How you should look make sure you put birds underneath wanting water for a good few minutes. I've actually got one that got in there for me blister, but not okay, what was that? Oh yeah, it was a coffee machine. Yeah, a coffee machine bit me at one point. That was always quite nice, but that was still nothing. Compared to burning my hand, oh. <clears throat> what makes that worse than uh than the coffee machine, which is bad in one concentrated spot? That actually really hurt for a little while, and I just recently got rid of the blister like a few weeks ago. This wasn't even that long ago. I put my hand on the coffee machine, which is kind of annoying. Ah. But. Yeah, what makes that one really bad wasn't just the fact of the severity of like burns. Like I got like three or two blisters on my hand, and one really bad one. And and the area they were in as well, they were nearby, um, more or less my thumb. I basically grabbed it. It was how it was like it was ever, all over my hand more. It had such a wide variety of space. I also wanted to do, like, you know, I like doing woodwork and I wouldn't do more of it. And it's like, oh, it was really hard to do it because I had to cut things. And I, oh. Then I do something else too. Like, I did that through the middle of the day, so I do, like, suffer through the whole day. Oh, boom wing! And they're pretty. Blackbuster, like you could have just told 
the next teacher that I was not coming in because I burnt my hand. <laughs> I think they would have <clears throat> understood your decision. You know, one thing I never really quite understood. They once told us to, if you feel angry, walk out the classroom. But all I could see that if you felt angry and you walked out the classroom, you were going to get treated like shit. You're not going to get treated nicely. You're going to be asked, the West, why did you leave the classroom? That's like, you can't put that practice in if for years that that practice has not been allowed, that you can't walk out of the classroom. <coughs> I don't think I would have been able to walk out the classroom. I wasn't exactly, you know, the bad kid. I was somehow the kid that they had everybody thought, that all the teachers were, you know, hoping I was, that I was good for some reason, but really everybody else is like, excuse me? This person is not that good. Ah, oh, that's all my bad ways. I don't know, there's, there's a lot of teachers that I end, I end up with a lot of teachers with it. Oh wow, I just fall in the same spot, I just died. <laughs> That's the reason why I was confused. I <laughs> this, this, like, uh, fantasy ideal that I was a good kid. Like, I was a white, I wasn't like bloody faking everything I've seen. I thought I wasn't like the best, like, goody two in the world that they think I was. I mean, I got away with more. Than a lot of others. <laughs> I don't think I would have been allowed to like walk out of the classroom for the reason why. <laughs> I've never, I never actually, after that, I've never actually seen anyone physically walk out the classroom. I've never been in the position where I did see the people in one way from winning up. Anyone ever really did that? <clears throat> I was, uh, actually, it was after that I was actually bit curious to see what ha would have happened, but hey, you know, I look back to it. I'm kind of glad I left early, like early away from school. Like, oh god, early in high school because I could leave um, about after year ten if I had a alternative education route, which I did. I went straight to the tape right next door. I am, am so glad I did that. I would never actually learn that, um, so of the Splendor Mania stuff, it's like, if you want to learn something that isn't, like, old, that is, like, a newish thing, go straight to, like, alternative education straight away as soon as you can. I guess tape, I think tape is, like, community college. Oh, but I was to oh, trade, it's basically trade school, in a way. Like, you learn automo automotive, automotive, that's what I had once learned down there. Bit of, like, and all those type of, like, you know, stuff that you kind of need a cert food for, it's called. I don't know what the world calls it, but hey. Or well, anything like you do, like, go to there for hairdressing as well. I guess it is more of a trade area. I think that's probably what it stands for. It uses, like, it's like, no to mow, and it's like, remember them! I'm like, what the hell? I'm dyslexic, and you know that. I actually never got any help for that problem, which is the reason why I never really, you know, went for any higher education than that. That's still counted higher education than high school. So I am more educated than someone who did, definitely on the um, spectrum, I am a higher education than someone who did year 11 or 12. You think about that. <laughs> Someone in Australia probably knows exactly what I mean. But that basically means you are better off doing what I'm doing. Go straight to tape after your after year ten, which is two years from the end of high school. So I guess hmm, I think that's the second year in from high from like high school in America and maybe the other one uh, and, and, you, uh, and like all those other places too. Like you're in high, in high school quite well off but not all I am. Ah, where is the golden boy these days? I'm not, I missed him, are you kidding me? You bastard. Mike. I'll go. It got it stolen away from me. Yeah, I'm like so glad I did leave early because it was so good for me to help as well because I was not in a good position at all. And that way, I don't know, I just 
angry with everything and then she had to like shit the whole time. Well, like, it's a pretty big wake up call when you get out of that environment. Like, people say I act more mature because I never went to the year 11 and 12. Oh, this is my sister face, and I'm, I think I kind of agree with that. I'm a gold digger, oh god. I find the witch dude. <laughs> oh my god, Sailor Donut. Let's, uh, I guess we have to end there, won't we? With Sailor Donut. Turn for the seas. I can't actually remember what Donut was before. What was he doing before? Oh, he had a fork in his. I never actually mentioned what he was before. I mentioned everybody else, but not the Donut. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of glad I did leave early on. Look, I will never go back in you know, for year 11 and 12 because that is insane. Because year 11 and 12 in Australia is basically a year and a half. I did my set free course in Slanomania, which is like, it, learned me, it taught me a lot about animation and the film industry itself. Even if it was exactly what I desired, especially for game development, it was still good to learn it. I didn't really want to go to Cert 4. I had the opportunity to go to Cert 4, which is kind of a good thing I didn't because during that I would have moved. And... COVID would have happened, like, that's when all the stuff, all the shit broke loose, <laughs> when I, when, if I did a cert four, I would have had to do, do with that, so I'm kind of glad I didn't end up doing that, and I feel bad for anyone who did, because, yeah, I would have known most of those people <laughs> who did that, yeah, um, yeah, I'm kind of glad I went and did that so sort of and then it cost, then it took six, six months to do that as well, which is really nice. And then I got that through like a scheme, which didn't cost me anything. I had to like pay for all the bus fees and all that, which is my only most annoying part of it all. That bus ended up costing a fortune. But even still then, that was like far more better than anything else. Although, because the airway it's in, it was a little iffy. That's <laughs> just the bus sometimes. And then you have to deal with bus drivers. Oh god. Some of them are okay and some of them are, you know, bad. And then I have to wait till I was... Uh, as soon as I was the last stop, it's kind of annoying as well. No, that was it late. I even... I did... That's the reason I say automotive because I did automotive at least a certain one. That was really good to, like, learn. Even if it's useless to me, I still really like the fact that I did learn that because that was really cool. Especially to someone who doesn't know much about those type of cars, who don't get taught that much, and family doesn't really know that kind of stuff about the cars either. I'm really nice to be learning that. And then you got all that time with school and then get to leave early as well. <laughs> like, uh, <clears throat> that was really nice. I gave you a good taste of it. Mm. So I hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy the little other chalk as well. I think that's what half the video is. I guess that's what half my videos do end up being. So I hope you enjoy. I'm a follow. Now, thanks for watching and have a nice day.